Production, sales, and patronage of tie and dye fabric took the lo local textile industry by storm in the mid 80s and early 90s. It, however, faded out but resurfaced by the turn of the century. Patrons have described it as a dying industry which needs government's intervention to revive. As we mark Ghana Month, Queen Viola of Love Business looks into how the industry has evolved and challenges posed by competitive products, mostly foreign fabrics, in this feature. So uh, you just soak your fabric in water for some few minutes, you take it out, make sure dye solution. That's Here dye on the KNUST campus, Nafisa Azuma, a fashion and textile designer at Kumasi Technical University, takes her students through the process of tie-dye production. She is worried, despite the cumbersome nature of the process, patronage of the fabric is very low. I think the tie and dye industry has really gone down the years. People are not patronizing and they are not um, interested in tie and dye because of the Chinese inferior made tie and dye and batik fabrics in the fabrics in the tie and dye business initial boom and the employment is created suffered an early jolt due to what was believed to be a conspiracy by second-hand clothing dealers who found it a threat to their business. Target of the fabric is patrons Ajwa Yankee after late CK Man's hit song saw patronage drop drastically. After a long while, the industry was reactivated in the early 2000s by competition from cheaper products, mostly from China. The situation is compounded by high cost of imported chemicals for production. Here at the Kumasi Central Market, Thai dye trader Afia Jiwa says the business started declining when the Chinese started imitating. So even in this market, the number of tie dye traders has reduced. Tires of Ghanaian prints are higher because the quality is better than the Chinese goods. But most people prefer the cheaper ones. Tie and dye makers used to procure cotton cloth from ATL and GTP, but now they have to import. The high duties affect the price of the final product. Madam Ejewa says the local tie dye is more expensive than foreign ones. She said this one is the Ghana made cloth, tie and dye cloth, and this one is the Chinese made. And as you can see, this one is rubber like, and this one is pure cotton. But she explains that people prefer the Chinese made to the Ghana made because the Ghana made is 45 cities per yard, sorry, for the six years.